everyone, it's Alexa here. Today we're going to do 31 Days of Halloween. This is day one. We're doing Bloody Mary, or at least my take on Bloody Mary. I know a lot of people have put a, a cracked glass face in theirs, but I wanted to make mine, I don't know, just a little bit different. I was just playing around one day, and this is what I thought I'd come up with. So if you are seeing this during the Halloween time, I am way pre-recording. I'm actually making this in May. We are starting in May because every year I fail to actually do 31 days of Halloween, so we are starting 31 days of Halloween in May. <laughs> that is the goal, at least. So I'm just starting off with a nice base. I'm putting foundation, concealer, and powder around pretty much all the basic points that you put all these things on around your face. I also took that down into my decollete area, at least my base, and then my powder. I did not conceal. If you want to do that, go for it. Of course, you can use whatever you'd like. This is just what I did. I was just playing around, you know, like I said. I decided, uh, I'm going to film it. So, that is what it was happening, is happening in this tutorial. We're starting with some red in our crease. This one had a little bit of a metallic finish to it, so um, I wasn't quite in love with it. I'm just flicking this out to the outsides of my eye and taking this up by my eyebrow. So filling in everywhere except the lid and the brow bone. I'm taking the same color and just dragging it down and around my eye. I kept this part in because I wanted to explain to you what I was doing. Um, then I added a little bit of a darker red onto that. I am filling in my lids with a sparkly silver color. Of course, you don't have to do this. Feel free to use whatever you'd like. I was going to use gold, but I thought the silver would offset the red much better. I'm adding in a matte red to the outside of my crease, just blending this in. Before we do any more work, I am going to highlight my face with a silver pinky color. I know those two things don't make very much sense, but when you see the highlighter, obviously you can see it reflecting and it makes much more sense. I am filling my lips in with a matte, and then I'm taking that matte red uh, eyeshadow and just placing that around my lips, then putting a gloss that has a metallic uh, shine over that, and taking a red liquid lipstick and just taking the spoolie and putting this through my eyebrows and my eyelashes. Feel free to use um, false lashes if you want to. I did not. I put this highlighter on like all around my decollete area, focusing it on my collarbones. I took a gray ashy color and I am just kind of contouring my face quote unquote around my cheekbones and my temples. I also took this color um, down and around my chin just to give me not so many double chins. Just kidding. And then I took this down and around, what is this called? Like your esophagus? Like right in the middle of your neck. I'm not quite sure what to call it. Um, but I wanted that to be just like she's got like stitches and like it's really coming out there even though it wasn't really stitches I decided to make more lines in my mouth um, it does look kind of clown like unless you know what I am doing and you see like all the veins and everything because my mom walked in and she's like what are you doing a clown I'm like uh, no not really <laughs> so I'm just drawing the veins in with the red liquid lipstick we used in the beginning I took these these veins um, around like my whole face, around my temple. Um, they got kind of swallowed up in the wig and of course you don't have to do that. I'm really detailing with a purple, some different color reds and oranges and browns um, and then I took a white to really make that pop. Of course you don't have to add that white. Um, and you can use like uh, fake blood if you want to. I thought about that afterwards and I was like man I should really use fake blood. I don't know why I didn't. Um, I did pop a, an edible blood capsule in my mouth. Um, but I hated how it looked, and uh, I just thought that she was more ele elegant than that. But that's my just take on Bloody Mary, of course. Everybody's is different, and um, she's always really, really beautiful, so that's what I wanted to make mine really stand out. And that's why I added the white in. But of course, like I said, you don't have to do this. This was very, really time-consuming. It took me about two hours to complete the whole thing, and that's I'm usually um, really, really fast, and I don't like to spend that much time on it, but I really want to be more detailed and uh, drawn out in my work. I don't want to just sit down and just have to film, you know, because that's not what I like to do. So as you can see, I'm really, really detailing and shading in here. I sped this up, of course, because this is the most boring and tedious part of everything. Um, and you can make your veins look 
however you want to. Put on my white contacts, popped on a wig, and put the crown on. I know that the crown is gold and pink. You don't have to tell me twice. I know. I know. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this look. This is my first day of day one of 31 days of Halloween. I love you all, and have a great rest of your day. Happy Halloween. Bye.